Back in Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy, second hour of the last show of 2018. I want to thank uh, Mr. Dave Shamandel. He's partnered with us for many years on the show with slicksticks.com, S T I X.com. You can call him at 805 598 9993. That's 805 598 9993. Your key to better golf clubs, grips, repairs, adjusting loft and lies, flight scope, golf lessons. Combine fittings, you name it. And uh, actually, we've got Mr. Dave on the line. And Dave, I got a couple clubs that I'm going to give to Billy to pass on to you because you're you're a hardworking man. <laughs> well, I try not to work too hard, but we take care of business. And you do a great job, man. So well, I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, we were just uh, before you called in the uh, first hour. We we're just going through some of our best and worst, both personal on the tour, our thoughts, and uh, um, you know personal stuff as well, but do you have any thoughts on the PGA Tour and stuff like that, what happened in 2018, or anything you want to share personally? Wow, there was so much that happened on tour last year. It was, uh, I think it was a great year for the PGA Tour. There's all the young guns that are coming up. Um, they, they just keep playing well. It, it seems like they're not a flash in the pan. And there's three or four new ones coming up this year. Like, uh, what's that kid's name? Hits Cameron so Champ. Champ, yeah. <laughs> and it's that a boy champ got a whole new wave going. <clears throat> Go get him, champ. Go get him, champ. I, I want to walk <laughs> with him. Nikki picked him and seven others for to win next week. <laughs> she, she, she literally picked a third of the field. Well, if you keep going, you're going to get about two thirds of the I field. I know she did. You'll be set. <clears throat> you almost got half the field. I took the rest of the field. She took seven players. <laughs> but, I'll go with you, Bill. Uh, that's right. <laughs> I'll take a, a, a hundred thirty-seven uh, against uh, against seven. No, yeah. I think there's only thirty-two players. Thirty-four. Thirty-four oh, players. That it is? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Tournament of champions. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's right. Not you know, but. And I'm going to be up close and personal. Oh, you're going to fly away again, huh? I'm flying away. I'm going to be a walking scorer again. You know what's amazing? You didn't oh, you, you didn't bring you. that up as one of your best for this cha- this past January. You mean yeah, yeah, schedule? you didn't bring it up. Though you've been. I haven't had a chance. It, I, I'm waiting wasn't... on everyone else. To no, you about. had your chance. You did. You had all kinds of time. I still have best and worst that I haven't said. <laughs> One of my best was. I'm sorry, Dave, champion. but I got to add her to one of my worst this year. But go oh, ahead. No. Oh no! Go ahead, go ahead, Dave. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> so, Dave, what else you got for your bet? You know, you mentioned the young players, but can you be more specific? Well, we had the the wave of um, Spieth and that gang come up, and you know, um, Thomas, Thomas, and there's about five or six of them that came up a couple of years ago, and they continue playing well. Like did you, did said, Jordan go winless? What's that? Jordan went winless yep. this, bad this year. Yeah. Yes, he did. So he's, he made a lot of money. Well, yeah, but see, that's, I guess we all look at the different successes, right? So, yeah. But go on. Yeah, well, no, he's still, but anytime you have a tournament, he's still in the top yeah. ten. Uh, not all the time, of course, but he's still there. So... I expect him to have a good year this year. Okay. Um, there's just so many good things. And Tiger, what a story that was. Yeah, we all three had that one. Yeah, well, that one's hard to, hard to hard ignore. To miss. <laughs> yeah, that one's hard to ignore. Yeah, I was bringing up Dave um, how he, he, it really, you know, one of the best things I think to happen during the year on the tour was Kepka and, and Woods just overshadowed that whole thing. Well, it's just like yeah. Tiger overshadowed <laughs> Rose. Brooks. Yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it was amazing this year. Kepka was absolutely insane. He was unbelievable. He had a better year than yeah. anybody's had in the last, I don't know how many. And, well, he got player of the year, but that's about all the kudos he got. Yeah, and it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't heavily promoted, I don't believe. And that, that's what Billy was saying about Patrick Reed winning, winning the Masters as well. It, it, it yeah, died, and it just very no. Similar. Yeah, so just, I think it's kind of sad that it just you know his win was almost never spoken of. It's it, the same it as like Justin Tabby. Rose in the FedEx. Cup. Rosie, Rosie won the FedEx Cup, and it was, and, and <laughs> it was no shadowed by Tiger's win. Overshadowed by Tiger, totally. Yeah. 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 It, so. Well, not his bank account. Yeah, his bank account. Hey, Rosie didn't care. <laughs> 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 Rosie's doing just fine. He's doing just peachy. But that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I would say uh, how Kepka was treated might be one of the worst things of the year. Yeah. Kepka uh, and Reed. 
I think. And Reed. Yeah. yeah. Well, Reed has kind of always <laughs> put it on himself. That's what Mike was saying. He's, you know, when he was in college, he, he dang near got kicked out of one. And uh, he even with his teammates said, we didn't like him, but he was so good we had to, you know, kind of root for well, him. He was the collegiate player of the year. He was the best player in college. Yeah. yeah. Tough to and kick out your best player in all of college. And he's oh, a great player, no doubt about so, it. But it well, I guess it wasn't a personality uh, contest. It was more of a golf contest, right? Well, I guess that's the way yeah. it's supposed to be, too. But uh, And I'll, I'll say one of the worst and best things were the rule changes. Yeah. <laughs> they, they became, they're becoming more friendly towards the average player. Uh, did they need to become more friendly? I don't know. So I, that one kind of goes both ways with me. But we're going to have to discuss that at the end of next, this coming year, because mm-hmm. it's going to be see very how interesting. Out. Yeah, we got to see how that pans out. Yeah. It's going to be really interesting. It'll, it'll be interesting. And we have our first men's club event at Paso Golf Club on oh the 12th. You better get a fresh book, baby. I know. I mean, you that's... Better yeah, travel you better, with I'm the group. not sure yeah. I can handle it too well right now. Yeah, uh, it's there were 30-something, I only know, like seven or eight of them that I'm familiar with, you know, but yeah. there were so many little ones that, yeah, you're going to need some new rulings, buddy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. for example, it's... what if someone drops higher than knee high? Exactly. I what was is thinking the... that exact thing. You were supposed to look thing. that up. You're our rules girl. That was exactly what no, I was no, We're like this. You and me are some people. We are like this. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, aren't you supposed to have an expert in the studio? We tonight? do have that. We still haven't come up with what's the penalty if someone, your buddy drops, he picks his ball and drops up from Here, shoulders let me, height. Let me check my And because he doesn't know yet, it, is that a redrop? Is it a penalty for not going knee high? I'm going to answer you. All right. So go on, Dave. What do you think? Well, and let me ask you. What do you think, Ryder Cup? On, uh, was Ryder Cup a, a best or worst of the Ryder Cup? What is your opinion on that? <laughs> well, if you're talking to a European, I'm asking you. <laughs> it was a day. Oh, I don't know. It, it was the Ryder Cup, and they still had the excitement going into it, and for the first day, but uh, became just kind of anti. I, I would say it was kind of a nothing. Tournament didn't have the excitement that the Ryder Cup usually has because it was such a blowout. Similar to the match, what did you think of the match overall? Was that a? I didn't watch it, and so, I understood it was a heck of a lot better than I expected. Well, so, I, I watched the whole thing. I think it, it was it was like watching a train wreck, though. It was one of those things you can't take your eyes off of, even though it wasn't great. You know what I mean? You're just you know looky loose. Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't. I can't believe it's rescheduled. As Mike just said, it's there. Yeah, I, I read I that have yesterday. A hard time believing that because it you know wasn't think, good TV. You know it was why, terrible golf. You know, you know the the part of it being terrible golf and maybe and not good TV. I mean, when when is it other than Shell's wonderful world of golf, which was actually edited, you know, for TV? The whole thing, the the whole match was not edited. It's uh, all completely live. So you're seeing everything. Oh, did it stay with them walking down the Yeah, but they had nothing to say to each other. So that was, and what but, they did was force conversations because they don't really, they're not buddies. How the kids, good, mine too. Yeah, all right, that's so good. And it was really, did you, did you watch it? It was really I, uncomfortable. I did, but I also take it, I I don't think it was great. The caddy thing right. was cool. That was cool. It wasn't, it wasn't great TV, but it makes you realize like when there's a PGA Tour event and even the one coming up in, in the next week, you know, there's 34 other players. They can cut and move around and produce right. and you do had, all these you things. You follow these guys. You got two stuff. guys, man. Unless you've got unless you've got a whole bunch of well, graphics and stuff, I you're going to lay over the top of these guys when they're not talking to each other. I, I th- and they tried that for a little bit. It's going to be what it is. But I know? think it'd be great if it was two different guys. Yeah. Right. That's what I mean. It was. Yeah. If, I think the premise is awesome. And listen, right. and my, miking them up and see how it works. You know, you've got some good buddies that are out there that are playing all the time that are really good friends or whatever. So yeah. you know, Jordan and JT. Would be really probably fun. But I would Ricky love Fowler to see. Fowler and these guys are busting each other's chops. How about Kepka and Tiger? Yeah. yeah, I would love that to would see more a two-man straight-up alternate shot. I think that Mr. would be Me awesome. Mr. and Mr. Boring yeah. all put it <laughs> together. I'd like to see fun. more of that. Yeah, yeah think, that would be good. But I those two guys I, yeah. was was a downer. Yeah, I have an oh, answer. Nikki's got an answer. Okay, Nikki's got an answer, people. If your ball is dropped in a wrong way, which would include dropping from height, shoulder yeah. height. <clears throat> in breach of one or more of these three requirements, these three requirements for the drop, you must drop your ball again in the right way, and there is no limit to the number of times you must do so. A ball dropped in the wrong way does not count as one of the two drops required before your ball must so be Those are a penalty? No. Okay, so that's just wow. you have to do that again, Tom. 
Why? But if you don't do it again, yes, well, then you keep on having to do it. No, until but what you if you play? Right. What, what if, if you, you hit the ball? Yeah. What if you hit and play? What if you oh, drop? Then if, that's breach of rule. You, well, yeah. If then, then you, you played, got then what? That, yeah, if, <laughs> if, if, if you disqualification. Hit, if you hit the ball, yeah, that's yeah. a problem. Because you could say, "Excuse me, you know, be nice." Hit the new rule. You had to redrop. No penalty. I appreciate that. But like Dave's right. What if he drops it wrong and then he, and he plays? Hold on, let me. Look but all of a sudden, up. you're like, "Whoa!" He just played from a ball that wasn't in play. Right, you yeah. for information on making a stroke at a ball dropped in a wrong yeah. way. Look at her go. And okay. whether one penalty stroke or general penalty applies, hold that thought, and I will go to <laughs> that. Under, I think you know it should still be dropped over your shoulder. <laughs> we used to, we used to do that, man. It hit off your butt. You know, it'd be really, really <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah. It'd be really that unfortunate right one. now. What? I'm not sure you could drop a ball from your knee. I can't now. I hit for my right knee. So uh, technically, you'd be disqualified. Because I've got, a, I've got because his knee is so my bad. Knee is messed up. I got a big brace on it. He couldn't even drop from the. So knee. I'm out he of play. He can't reach down by his knee. Billy's out of play. I can't play with you right now, Nikki. I'm sorry. You can lean over. No, he can't. Not with his knee. It says leg standing erect. No, 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 no. It, knee height, no matter what you're doing, it you can says kneel standing down. up. If he kneels down, he can't get up. Yeah, it's if I go that height. if I go that does that say right or wrong? Right, if I'm down there, I'm finished. They got to cart me out of there. Yeah, in that all position. I'm saying you've got to wear that button. I it's fell knee down height. And I can't get up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's knee height from where you're standing, but you can drop it in any way. You can squat down and drop it I from knee height. Can't squat, I, I'm, or you can stand totally upright. I can't do that either. It's His weird. arms aren't. You know, everybody's like that's the thing. <laughs> That's you like when you do in a golf cart. But you know, the last time I played golf, where I had to height. drop a ball, yeah. 1993. That's the last time you, I had to drop you tell, a ball. You talk to Dave about club fitting. People, people always talk about, well, I'm this this tall, therefore that's the length of club yeah. I need. That's not the case. That's not the case. Billy's a tall guy, but he's got some short arms. I got some tiny little legs too, man. I'm like a little chip. He's like a Tyrannosaurus I'm like a little Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex with <laughs> with big but short legs. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I mean it the best uh, way. Yeah, I'm adding you to my worst <laughs> list now, too. Both of you got to check against you for worst. I'm sorry, Bill. You're going to have to drop that again. <laughs> right. I can't reach my knees. <laughs> I don't care. You're going to have to drop it again. We can't keep going. We can't get the match going. We're going to have to DQ you. <laughs> I got- <laughs> but I can't bend down, Mike. I got to work on my core, I guess. You're going to have to do some squats. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have to call an official out when you play with me. I mean, it's awful. Like, can I lay on my side? Yes. All right. <laughs> lay on my side. Yeah, but you have to reach up. There. Oh my God. Uh, Thanks, Mike. So if, if, if you drop the ball, yeah, and you play, and you play it, it's loss of hole in match play or two penalty strokes to stroke. Wow. All right. That's, that's a lot of penalty strokes for Bill. Yeah, uh, I just made a nine. <laughs> so let me ask: You're on your side after you've dropped. <laughs> Do we have like a two by four plank that's leaning against the cart, and you just kind of roll up the that, plank to I, stand up? I can't roll up. That's what I mean. What I how are we going down? How are we going to get you back up? Yeah, there's going to be. A, I got it. But you guys, you would have to lift from you, your knees, but I you can't lift from your knees. We're going to be riding in a cart. Yeah. I have this. I have about a, a four foot tall, really sturdy orange dolly. And what we'll do is Pull we'll strap along. that to the cart, and then if you have to make the drop, you're going to lay back. You know, on the dolly, and I'll just lay you down. Okay, drop. make the drop, and then I'll lift you back up. So you have to lay me down by, by, right at knee height. Yeah, that's really good. I can do that. So we bring the dolly. With I would do that for you. That's a really good friend, man. Yeah. Do you Thanks. think it would be okay if you had one of those, like, kind of like the water retriever things, yeah. where where you could have a little claw well, and yeah, Billy well, could reach down and then drop uh, it with a little claw? I think you have to be holding it like in your those hand. little gripper things with a handle. Those yeah, little gripper yeah. things. You can. I can yeah, do that. Yeah. If you take one of your clubs out of your bag, because that's going to be counted as one of your clubs. With a suction clubs. cup on it. Yeah. And just kind of shake it until it falls off there. Yeah, as long as it's knee high. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> it's poor Dave's time. Hey, Dave, did, did, did... No, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm not so much, man. <laughs> i got to play Mike with a dolly, and I can't... I got, I'm trying to source Rex. Hey, did you guys know you have a dolly <laughs> trapped to the strap to the back of your cart? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's for Bill. That's Don't for Billy when it. he drops his ball. <laughs> New rules, in effect, 2019. Yeah. And there's no hazards anymore. Very strange. I know. That's, Can't even use the word hazard. That's, that is going that to be a big change. Is there a the penalty for hazard. using the word hazard? No. <laughs> but they still have yellow and red stakes. Like, God, i got to review these But penalty things. areas. I know, they're penalty areas now. Yeah. That's just So what is, the, what is this hand trap? 
It's a penalty. It's it's a yeah. penalty. No, yeah. you no. can you can yeah, area. but you can take a penalty out of it. You can drop two out strokes. of a two shot penalty yeah. and drop out, which drop you never out. could yeah. before. Yeah. Right. Right. And you can remove oh, rocks. That would be right. Yeah. And loose impediments. Yeah, so it would be. You can a, hit out of a water hazard. You could make it a penalty area, area if you drop out of it. Right. So it's not. That's it's true. just through the green, I guess. And but you can make any area a penalty area, I guess. Yeah. Anywhere through the green, if you want to. Can you? I mean, I don't know. There's some weird rules. Like, like yeah. that's right. What is we a bunker? Really, we got a lot of studying will. to do. What is a bunker now? I shouldn't have brought up the rules. No, I'm glad you yeah, did. Yeah, Dave, thanks a lot. <laughs> I realized. Putting that, that down is one of my worst. He's I'm on about, my list now, uh, too. I'm about two weeks out from that event, and so I, that's one of the things I've been, I've been just dreading was the fact that i got to make up a whole new rule sheet. And it's going to be weird watching one of us putt with the pin in. Yeah, that's going to be. Yeah. be you got well. You got to check the core of a yeah the C O R exactly. Hey, it's Dave? just going to be strange seeing that. You know, we've done it for so many years pulling I know, that flag. It's weird. That's going to be. I'm but gonna, it's, it's I'll be the first to do it. It'll, it it'll out, dink though. off it. No, it's not. I know it's just. But I'll, I'll be the first to leave it in. And it's going to bounce off. I know. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. I'm just not going to leave. I can't. I know. It's I don't <laughs> think I can leave it in. Yeah. I, I think we have I to try it just to break the room. ice. Man. I think the only time I'd leave it in is if I was way, way far away. So, Dave, what did you just say? It makes the <laughs> hole smaller. Up too much room. I need the biggest dang hole I can. Well, get. see, that's that's what my that's how my brain's processing that same thing. But you know, how many hole in ones happen because the ball hit the pin. Yeah, lots. Right? I mean, I've that's seen if them. there wasn't a pin there, it would have bounced over. You know how many? You know how many cup of balls <laughs> don't hit the back of the cup and bounce in the air and go in the hole because there's a pin? <laughs> Seven. Well, it goes, how, many, how many shots have you seen hit the pin and didn't get the hole in yeah, one? That's too. what I mean. It, but they've did so many studies off with STEM. They've had so many studies if the pin helps or not. I mean, they've everybody studied. I'm surprised, Dave, you haven't studied and, that. And if, you know what? They, yeah. I've I've seen some of those, and you know what? They don't say a dang thing. Not, some, they go both ways. They go both ways. Everybody. Some say it helps. Some say it never helps a perfect shot. Some says it does help a perfect shot. Yeah. So it's it's so interesting those studies. But I think DeChambeau was closest. He's going to see the COR. Yeah. Help, and then, because it, I think it would help a, a one foot putt easily. Yeah. Or a two foot putt if you got a little bit of jitters going on where you can hit it a little firmer, straighter, right? And tink tink. I mean, I think that's it would. So weird. I just. Yeah. I know. It's just that's what I mean. It's weird because we're not used to it. Well, here's the other thing that it might actually it, it might actually minute. slow down play on the green. What if the four of us are playing? Put it and, in. Take it out. Put like, it in. Take it out. Put it in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, no. take it out. Put it in. Take it out. Put it in. <laughs> put it, and now you got to walk over lines, and you got. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's a pain. That's gonna be. There'll be fist fight. Yeah, that's that's definitely. You know, it's gonna happen. And they did it to speed up play. Yeah, it's not gonna. <laughs> yeah, that's why no, they did it. it. It will speed up play for the for the for us. It's gonna be a try. I know. for us because you know be I'm gonna game you guys. Going, no, put it back I know. in. <laughs> Even when I don't care, I'm but still gonna for the most part, it it'll be in. good. It'll be good when uh, someone's off the green, you know, but they're not try. quite to the ball. I'm go back to the course and try it. I want to see it. Because I mean, yeah. on the putting green, but those little those little putting green pins have a little skinny little, yeah. right? That's yeah. all I mean. They yeah. really, yeah. They, those big thing. ones, man, could, could make a huge... We have some bigger ones that are on the chipping green. If you hit the pin, it never goes see? in. See? So you're... If you're chipping and pitching, it very rarely does it go in. Big old pins. These are big pins. <laughs> those must be the pins that I always hit. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. it never went in. Yeah. Did Lori Vericker call you, Dave? Uh, yes. Awesome. Let me know. We'll, we'll talk offline. But uh, when I bring, and, yeah, but, we'll, we'll get her taken care of. Okay, Don't but you worry. Hey, Dave. I'm not worried. I'm, I I trust you a million percent, Dave. Hey, Dave. She sounded very excited. Yes, yes. I'm glad to hear it. Um, there's something for you over at Monarch Dunes in the restaurant from me for Christmas. Oh, wonderful! So go take a look for it. Actually, I got to go by there today. So perfect. Yeah. I will do it that. It should be at the at the grill at the you know. And at I'm the gonna do it towards the end of your shift. I'm gonna have <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have some stuff for uh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have some stuff for everybody near the end of the month. That's custom stuff that wasn't able to get here on time. And I'm gonna so, do the same thing. I'm gonna yeah. have some stuff for you sometime in the 18. <laughs> Mine's at the end of January. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey Dave, uh, we got to take our break. But anything uh, you want to throw out there from Slick Sticks? I know Billy and I were talking the other day about your, you know, club cleaning and kind of getting ready for spring, regripping and all that stuff. Oh, that's still available. Well, I have um, a, I have a comment, Dave. <laughs> bucks plus parts. Uh, go through your bag and your clubs and clean them up. Uh, make them as pretty, dents and and buff them out and. Take care of the bag, clean it up, 
armor all or not armor all the zippers, but uh, <laughs> WD forty zippers slippery. and nice. if needed, armor all the bags. Well, I, you cannot say from now on that you've sold twenty more than you did the year before. <sighs> And well, I can unless say you more, but I can't say twenty times. Yeah, more. You, well, unless you do. I mean, unless it's possible. But you, but uh, yeah, you, you, I know you sold one. I know you might I have sold, sold hey, one. Hey, oh, yeah. Dave, can you can you text me a picture of your business card? Sure. So I can use it. You can just, you can get his logo off his website. I did. No, because he told me his logo on his website wasn't good. He it wanted, worked, but I wasn't able to go get down and get a business card from him. Well, okay. didn't you get it off of uh, I Bill? Got, didn't you get it off of uh, uh, your website? No, I got it off yours. Okay, well then you can get it off mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I okay. Guess. Yeah, the one we have is really big. Yeah, it was it's just, up on top. It's hard to pull it. Pull it. But out. I, oh, okay. But I got it. But then I typed in your your phone number and address and everything below. So. Send me send me a copy of your business card, Dave. Text it to me. Okay. Well, Dave, thank you. Okay. thank you for a great 2018. We look forward to 2019. He's Dave Shimano with Slick Sticks, your key to better golf, 805-598-9993. Have a great one, guys. You too, Dave. Happy New Year, Dave. Happy New Year, Dave. See you, man. We'll talk to you all. Happy New Year to you. Right. Okay. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'll be right back. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Stay with us.